for early on this evening. I would put rain chances only at about 20% moving forward this evening. So most areas are dry at 8 p.m. Temperatures in the mid 80s. You'll certainly feel that heavier air out there. Dew points are higher. That means it's uncomfortable out there with a the muggy feel sticking around the entire night. Temperatures at this hour are really driven by who saw some rain from late afternoon into early evening and who missed out. We have warmer temperatures around Elm at 92 degrees. 90 in Springfield and Ridgeland where they saw little to no rain during the afternoon and then slightly cooler in Savannah with a passing sea breeze and also the afternoon rain 87 with mid 80s out on the islands. One thing is certain though is we have a stationary front across our area. We are looking at an increased chance of showers and thunderstorms, especially moving into the weekend, maybe dipping rain chances slightly for Friday's forecast early on patchy fog possible in the morning. This is at 7 a.m. As the kids go to the bus stop, probably just put the umbrella in the backpack by afternoon. We'll flare up at least a handful of showers and thunderstorms. This is at 2 p.m. Between 2, 3, 4 p.m. Dismissal time for school. We're looking at at least a threat of some showers and storms. If you're headed out into downtown Savannah, maybe dinner reservations on Friday, you could bring the umbrella with. Looks like the highest threat of rain shifts inland and then fades away as we go into early Saturday. Mix of sun and clouds for your trip to the farmer's market on Saturday morning. And then by afternoon, especially after 2 or 3 p.m., could have some showers and storms. But I would say beach weather looks best the next couple days, primarily before 2 or 3 in the afternoon. All right, tomorrow's forecast around 90 degrees for our interior areas. Also around Elma, Baxley, Reedsville. Chance of that shower or a thunderstorm closer to the coast. Couple degrees cooler for Darien. 90 in Hinesville. Threat of a shower or storm up around Statesboro. Low 90s for Springfield and Rinkin. The beach tomorrow, Tybee, 86 degrees. 91 in Savannah and 86 on Hilton Head with Hampton at about 90 degrees. Now we're still watching the tropics. Hurricane Franklin is long gone. That's it's the remnant area of low pressure. We'll watch this tropical wave out in the Atlantic curve to the northwest and eventually turn to the north. National Hurricane Center only gives that a 40% chance of turning into a tropical cyclone. And if that would happen, maybe late in the weekend or early next week. Here's the seven day forecast seasonal temperatures. But the thing to focus in on our rain chances a little bit lower on Friday. That would favor coastal areas. 50% chance Saturday and Sunday. That's for everyone. And as we go into the early part of next week, upper 80s to low 90s for highs and rain chances appear to be highest from the weekend into next Tuesday. We can't catch a break with a completely dry day. I'll keep my fingers crossed for eclipse day on August 21st. That's right. when we want to save up all our dry sunny days and then use them that day. Yes, let it rain right now and get it out the way. That's we right. hope so. That's right. where we want to cash in. And you